Hey everybody, Ray again. You hear this beat behind me? This is a water jet in our shop. It is a workhorse, and today I'm going to show you how this thing this works. This thing is a very noisy operation, so I'm going to make this side real quick. Um, if you look down here, these are some of the wheels uh, that we cut. This is a reoccurring job. If you're curious about that, there'll be a li link in your upper right. Uh, you can see from the sheet, this is half inch aluminum. We've been cutting uh, probably for about six or seven hours now. Uh, we've got the last two wheels to go. Let's take a closer look. You can see the nozzle and that little stream. That stream, that stream is water coming out at 50,000 PSI. In the water is mixed, and you can see some of it right here, that grit is garnished. So, we'll take a look at the back of the machine in a second. That is the high pressure line. Water's coming at 50,000 PSI. There's a 90 degree elbow up there, and it's coming down this line. It goes into the top of the head right here. There's another 90 degree right here, and it goes into the top of the head. This is a little air piston. You can see this is an airline. And that opens and closes a tiny little needle and seat valve that's inside here, allowing the water to go through the nozzle. Now, this line over here is garnet coming from the machine, the back of the machine. This is the in-feed line. It's fed into this hopper and it comes down through this little tube and is injected in the mixing chamber. Now, that line uh, does not have any pressure in it. The vacuum created by the water going through the nozzle is sucking the garnet in through uh, uh, the mixing tube or the mixing chamber, and together the stream of water at 50,000 psi is mixed with the garnet, and that is how it's cutting uh, this half inch aluminum. Now, we have cut up to six inches of steel and uh, down to about three thousandths of Inconel. It's quite an incredible machine. Let's take a look at the pumps in the back. Okay, here we are at the back of the machine. This is the electronics uh, panels. Uh, you can see the main, uh, the high pressure water supply line right here where it comes or it goes to the front of the machine at the, at the cutter head. You can see down here where it connects down into the manifold. So, let's take a look. This back there, you might be able to see it, is the 50 horsepower motor. Lighting back here is not the best, so uh, please pardon the low image quality. Here you have the manifold on top, and there are three cylinders, and these are the end caps to the cylinders. So, if we take a look, you can see from the side here, uh, these are quite deep. So, low pressure water comes in on this line right here. This is 60 psi. That's right, 60 psi water coming in under low pressure. The manifold has two chambers the one on the left and the one on the right. The one on the left is the low pressure chamber, and there are ports that go down into the, each of these three end caps uh, for the low pressure water. That low pressure water comes down inside these end caps and it gets uh, compressed through a check valve. So right about here is the separation between the low pressure side and the high pressure side. So once uh, the water is compressed through that check valve, can I go back through? And on this side is the high pressure side of the end cap. Uh, and it's the same for all three. Then there is a port at all three locations that go into the high pressure chamber, which is actually just between these two bolts is where the high pressure chamber is and this is the outlet for the high pressure water so you can see the line is actually quite thin it's not a very heavy line probably three-eighths of an inch in diameter uh, this is a protective sheath in case we get a pinhole leak and they do show up once in a while we don't have high pressure spray everywhere it controls that so the water of course goes through this 90 degree and up to the head here we machine. are back at the front of the machine if you're curious this is a flying bridge style water jet. I'm not even sure if they still make them like this anymore. This machine is about 12 years old. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning how the water jet works and watching this one here. Uh, it's quite fascinating and loud. 
uh, but uh, it does get the job done very efficiently. Um, takes a, if you're curious, it takes about 45 minutes to cut one of these wheels with all the holes in it at a half inch aluminum, and it does it very accurately. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments about any of the work I do, any of the videos about this video in particular, uh, please feel free to ask them in the, in the comment section. I do reply to all comments, and I do read them all. Thank you again.